More than 500 women across the country, they're suing Uber, claiming sexual assault, kidnappings, and stalkings by drivers. Dre Clark is live in New York with how the rideshare company is now responding. Dre. Adrian, good morning. The lawsuit filed in California alleges that Uber has never really been interested in protecting the safety of its female passengers, but rather company execs have been focused on growing the company and making big profits. It's a massive lawsuit making extremely damaging allegations against one of the world's most recognizable companies, Uber. Michael Carney is one of the attorneys suing Uber on behalf of women whom he says are sexual assault survivors. Thousands, thousands of people have been sexually assaulted while thinking they were taking a safe ride home. A class action lawsuit filed in California alleges more than 500 female passengers were attacked by male Uber drivers. The lawsuit says the women were kidnapped, sexually assaulted, sexually battered, raped, falsely imprisoned, stalked, and harass. The lawsuit also saying as early as 2014, Uber became aware that Uber drivers were sexually assaulting and raping female passengers. It's still a significant problem and one that the public needs to be aware of. News Nation contacted Uber about the lawsuit. A company spokesperson said this litigation has been ongoing since February 2022 and we can't comment on pending litigation. The company also pointing out some of its safety measures for riders. Users can call or text 911 through the ride sharing app. Ride check detects if a trip goes unusually long or off course. And if that happens, the rider is contacted immediately. And drivers are required to go through an extensive criminal background check process. Uber also recently released its second safety report, which shows close to a thousand sexual assault incidents, including reports of rape, happened in 2020. Information for 2021 and 2022 is not available. You can't trust the figures that they put out there because that's their own self-reporting. We're finding out that we're probably just looking at the tip of the iceberg here. The lawsuit also says that in 2014, Uber started charging riders an extra dollar, calling it a safe ride fee. Uh, but the attorneys maintain it was nothing more than a money grab because the sexual attacks kept on happening. One change that the attorneys say that Uber can make immediately is requiring all of its contracted drivers to have cameras inside of their vehicles. Adrian. I mean, I'm telling you, I have driven with people with cameras in their cars and I actually feel safer because I know there's proof somewhere. Of course, they have to get that video to the law enforcement if something did go down. Trey, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.